Just days ago, the state legislature approved my Renters' Right to Recycle Act, known as AB 818. Appropriate, because we are in the 818. AB 818 is an important environmental mental bill. It, it's not just for us here in the 818, but it's going to impact the entire state. And what it does is it forces apartment owners to offer recycling to their tenants. So the tenants have the right to recycle just as much as people who live in homes. With housing prices being what they are and this economy being as tough as it is, California's working families are often renting more and more. And renters deserve to have the same opportunities to live green as everyone else. Frequently, unfortunately, they don't have that opportunity. And it doesn't get more basic than having the access to recycling where you live. That's why we're here today. So many people who live in apartments don't have that opportunity to recycle. And they want to recycle. I know a lot of folks who end up bringing their, their cans and bottles to a recycling center, and they'd much prefer to be able to just drop that off in their own apartment. This bill tells all apartment owners you need to comply with the state law and you need to offer recycling as an opportunity for tenants. So that's why we call it the Renters' Right to Recycle Act. Our members uh, really do share the Simba members' goal of making it easier for California's apartment residents to recycle. And we commend the assemblymen for working with the industry to create a reasonable framework for owners and managers to make these services available to the residents. Rental property owners look forward to working with local governments to help educate our residents, um, not only in LA but across the state, on the importance of recycling and to use the recycling services provided out there. As a young person, you hear it from your teachers, you hear it from your parents, and you probably remember those infomercials with little dancing dinosaurs telling you, reduce, reuse, and recycle. In my parents' place, a house right here in Canoga Park, we were given multicolored bins that reminded us to separate our trash from our recyclables. But more importantly, it reminded us every day when we saw them that there's something more that we could do as Californians to protect the environment. It created a mindset, a mentality that continues to live with us because we know there's something that we can do. People who live in apartments want the benefit of us being able to, or want the benefit of being able to do the right thing. And, we're, and the status quo is what's actually making it harder for them to do that. So here at CLCV, we're very, very proud to support AB 818 and Bob Blumenfield, who has been a stalwart environmental champion. And we'd like to encourage all Californians to support this bill and urge the governor to sign it. So it's, it's really a win-win kind of bill because it allows renters to recycle. It gives apartment owners a uniform, fair way to implement that. Uh, and it's, it's going to be a big win for our environment. As the nation's largest recycler, waste management recycled over 8 million tons just last year. Using recyclables rather than raw materials saves energy. And the 8 million tons that waste management recycled last year saved enough energy to provide power to 1.6 million households. As a nation, we're learning that what used to be simple waste or trash or rubbish actually has the potential to be a valuable resource. That plastic water bottle that you throw away can become carpet or insulation. That aluminum can might turn into house siding for housing or, or a new aluminum can. And that old cardboard box can be recovered and turned into a host of new products. We need to do all that we can to recycle the stuff that we throw away so that we can put the value left in it back into our economy. Green living is in the future. That's where we're going as a state. That's where we're going as a nation. But if we're to harness the power of everyday acts for the benefit of our environment, green choices must become integrated into modern life. They must become more convenient to match the fast pace of modern life. Right now, it is passed out overwhelmingly in the Assembly and the Senate, and it is on the governor's desk. And we're hoping that the governor is going to sign this bill. So if, if you're hearing this before he's actually signed it, contact the governor and urge him to sign AB 818. Governor Brown, please sign this bill. Let's expand recycling and reduce our impact on the environment and create thousands of new green jobs.